bottom line is, you know, he was a fantastic human being and he will be sorely missed. Well, many are sharing their sadness tonight about the death of an Oklahoma state lawmaker. Representative David Brumbaugh of Broken Arrow died this weekend after suffering a heart attack at his home. Two Works View anchor Will Dupree joins us now after talking with those who knew him best. Will? Well, Karen, people are remembering David Brumbaugh for his dedication to helping others, not just through his office, but also in his daily life over the years. Business reconvened at the state capitol for the first time without Representative David Brumbaugh. I think it would be appropriate that we start off as a moment of, with a moment of silence for our friend. His colleagues started their day by standing silently to recognize him and later joined together in song. The influence he held at the state house could be felt back at his home district in Broken Arrow. And he was just a stand-up guy, full of integrity. Uh, and even if you didn't agree with David, you could have a civil discussion and still part as friends. Wes Smithwick with the Broken Arrow Chamber of Commerce says he worked closely with Brumbaugh over the years, most notably on transportation projects like the renaming of the Creek Turnpike to Oklahoma State Highway 364. That was important for economic development purposes and David was our champion for that. Outside of his legislative work, Brumbaugh stayed active in his church. He served as a deacon at the Tulsa Bible Church and members could often find him leading classes there. For a long time, he taught our third and fourth grade uh, boys Sunday school class, and he was a, a legend there. Associate Pastor Phil Martin spent Saturday night with Brumbaugh's family at the hospital. The 56-year-old died after being found unresponsive at his home. Martin says faith is now comforting Brumbaugh's wife and two daughters. David spent his first Easter in heaven and uh, that, that makes things a little different for a believer when they know that they'll see someone again. The Tulsa Bible Church will hold Brumbaugh's funeral this weekend. And plans are also in the works for his body to possibly lie in state at the Capitol. And just a few moments ago, we actually learned Brumbaugh's body will lie in repose Thursday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the state capitol. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Governor Mary Fallon will announce within the next 30 days when a special election will be held to fill that vacant seat. Will Dupree, two works for you.